And welcome back, guys, to Falcon Plays Neil Scavenger. Uh, we're gonna pick up exactly where we left off last time, which was uh, this uh, this fucking bandit with a broken bottle that keeps coming after us. So we know we're gonna finally give him what he wants, and you know he wants to fucking have this epic showdown, and we're gonna indeed have this epic showdown. And I'm gonna beat the hell out of this man somehow. Probably do it with the butt of my rifle, honestly. So um, we're, he's seven ranges away. So let's actually go and um, advance one space. So he's going to advance as well. So let's go ahead and advance once more. He's got a broken bottle, so let's make sure he doesn't fucking stab us with that. And advance again. So now we're in range. So now we're basically face-to-face, -face, one range away. Um, I suppose what I could do here... I'm going to use my rifle. And, oh, I can use my rifle. Oh, what happened to my... I thought I had a chance to attack this man. Not anymore, it seems. Alrighty, so let's... What happened to my charge, my tackle? I had a tackle, didn't I? Could have sworn I had a tackle there for a second. Alright, so let's just advance once more. Alrighty. So Bandit is exposed for easy attack. Uh, player has fallen to the ground, so we both fell, apparently. Player is exposed to an easy attack. Player needs a moment to recover before acting again. So, no, no, apparently this motherfucker uh, tackled me, it seems, so... There you go. Um, Bandit gets up, and I could get up, or I could pull him down. So let's go ahead and pull him down. Bandit's left arm was bruised, Bandit has fallen to the ground, and must regain footing to continue, and Bandit exposed for easy attack next moment. Alrighty, so let me, once again, um... Actually, let's pull him down again. Bandit's head was bruised! <laughs> oh, good. Alrighty, and let's do it again. It's been working so far. Bandit has fallen to the ground, and must regain footing. Bandit is exposed to using your attack. Player pulls Bandit down to the ground. Bandit's upper chest was bruised. So now let's get up. Alright, so he's down. Oh, he gets up too. Alright. So now we're face to face. I fucked him up a little bit now though, so that's good. So how about... Um, I could try to parry him, but let's do a melee surge. Uh, let's see. Bandit tries to launch a flurry of attacks at the player, but misses. Bandit miss needs a moment to recover. Bandit's broken bottle has fallen apart. Alright. Good. So now you have no weapon, asshole. Alright, let's go ahead and melee search this man again. Bandit is parrying the next attack, making him hard to hit for a moment. Player tries to launch a flurry of attacks at the bandit, but it misses. Player needs a moment to recover. Alrighty, so now we're back on even ground. Let's go ahead and do one more melee search here. Alrighty, player tries to launch a flurry of attacks, but it misses. Player needs a moment to recover before acting again. I'm not gonna surrender. Alright, bandit bruised the player's left arm with a punch. Player is in minor pain, and some activities are affected. Minor pain. Come on, man. Stop being a pussy. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, leg trip him now. Bandit needs a moment to recover before acting again. Bandit has fallen to the ground and must regain footing to continue. So let's kick him while he's down. And his upper stomach was smacked. And let's kick him once again. And player is tired and the bandit gets up. How is our, our pain threshold and tired? Okay, we're halfway tired, so <clears throat> maybe I get a... Uh, Demand this man to surrender? <laughs> we both ask each other to surrender. Nope. Alright. So, uh, we're not gonna surrender, it seems. So we're gonna continue doing the melee surge here. Alright, Bandit agrees to surrender to player. Alright, actually, he did agree to surrender. So that's good. Second rest and heal. Rest here until wounds heal. We'll stop resting if conditions change or creatures appear. But really quickly, though, um, let's uh, actually go into our menu and see what this man dropped for us. Ah, come on! Oh, cool. We do have a... <laughs> we're, we're wearing two right shoes. You know, it's a post-apocalyptic world, man. You gotta, you know, wear what you can. And now we have a hoodie as well. That's gonna be good. Excellent. Fuck the sled. And blue jeans, uh, condition 23? How's ours? Condition 13. So, fuck ours. Let's put that man's blue jeans on. Don't worry, guys. I'm just hanging out here in the post-apocalyptic world naked. And let's put the shirt on as well. Alrighty. So, not bad. And let's see, oh, this guy's hoodie had a shard of something. I, you know, I don't need that. Go away. But he did have uh, some painkillers that were empty, unfortunately. And another disposable plastic bag. That's good. That is really good. Uh-oh. So we'll keep that in m mind for now. Put that away. And poison berries. Yeah, I'm not gonna mean eating those, I don't think. Alright. Let's get out of here. And let's actually, um... I need a do heal. For sure, but let me scavenge first, and then we'll heal afterwards. So we have uh, two stretch of forests here. So let's go ahead and scavenge this one. Botany, yes. 
All right, so I found something through the use of botany, thankfully. So let's see what we got here. We got some water, which is good because I do have a water bottle, or I have a bottle that's... What? Oh, it's got water in it. Good. All right. And I also uh, have a... Wait. So how do I use the water tester? Oh, it doesn't have any charges left, though, so I guess that's why it's not working. All right. Go away, water. Let me keep my water tester. Then. Anything else in here? Um, edible. So we could eat a bit. Am I hungry? Well fed. Uh, let's. Might as well fucking eat it though. There you go. That poisonous. Uh, that said poisonous, right? Yep. Fuck that. And let's go ahead and eat this one then. Edible. Eat that one. All right, good. So I got a little bit of food in this for sure. And alrighty. So we're still tired and we're still in pain though. So how about? Uh. Uh, I guess I'll save my painkillers for now. Uh, I can scavenge once more, and I probably should. Thanks to botany. <clears throat> Alrighty, so our loot should be pretty good. Slip down a slope. While ascending a steep slope, you lose your footing, slipping most of the way to the bottom. It bruised you a bit, but thankfully the worst of it, lost pro uh, of it is lost progress. No useful items found this time. Oh, that's a fucking shame. So let's go ahead and, uh, even though this man is near us, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and rest and heal, I guess. Uh, currently use campsite. So, I guess we'll use this campsite. <laughs> so we could sleep, but there's no shelter or healing here, it seems. Alrighty, uh, available campsites, none. So, let's just rest and heal out in the middle of nowhere, I guess. That's a good idea. Nothing's happening, though, for now. My pain is going up a bit, though, at least, uh... Alright, so we have one move now. Um, we could... I could rest and heal again, or I could, uh... Yeah, let's just rest and heal one more time. Perfect. And let's see here. Let's continue onward, then. I, our shivering is... Uh, at least we've, uh... We've dealt with the shivering. Are we still kind of tired, but our pain is at least kind of on, so... Oh, okay, there's a... What is this? A melon head? The fuck is a melon head? So let's end my turn. Oh, my lord! Dog man? That's the that's the man from the laboratory. The dog man from the laboratory. <laughs> Alright, so let's proceed up here. What's in here? What the fuck is this? Looks like there's something in there. Can't spy on it though. Um oh my lord, what is that? Is there something in there? It's like a fucking like Gaijudo of some kind. Alrighty, let's um stop spying and let's just jump over here, I guess. Player isn't able to see well in these conditions, making a difficult activity difficult. Ah, it's a goddamn shame. So let's jump back over here. Let me. I guess I'm gonna try to go into the city. I suppose. Let's end the turn here. All right. As night falls, you notice there is a bright glow coming from the east, easily visible through the treetops. It's no guarantee, but it could be a sign of civilization, maybe even a lead as to where you are or who. And if nothing else, it's a good. Uh, it's as good a landmark to strike towards as any. Press mini map or the M key to set the location on the map. Um. To see the location of the map, alright. So, it seems that, um... Do have a little bit of a location in our... Oh, that's pretty fucking far from us, though, that's for sure. <laughs> alright. So we're in the middle of the night here. And I'm thirsty now, so that's good, because uh, I do have water bottles, so I will use that when I need to. And I can see again. So let's go ahead and, uh... End our turn here. Alright, so nighttime. This is kind of terrifying. All right, so now let's go ahead and scavenge this area. Looking at, looking around you, there appears to be a few areas we're checking out. An abandoned apartment building or a crumbling apartment building? Let's go check out the abandoned one first. Um, unfortunately, we have nothing really good in terms of uh, helping us. Uh, we don't have any like sneaking or brute strength to do stuff. So let's just go ahead and confirm and see what we find here. Plastic sled. Caster wheels. I guess I could fucking go build a skateboard now. Can I do that? <laughs> be pretty cool. Alrighty, a Wolverine Black Whiskey Bottle. <laughs> yeah, fortunately it's empty. I don't blame you. I'd be intoxicated all the time in a post apocalyptic world. So plastic pill bottle containing the painkiller. Yeah, this actually has a painkiller too. So how about, um... Fuck ours, and let's take the one that actually has pills in it. Oh, what the fuck is this? A protester associated with an- oh, okay, this is a newspaper. A protester associated with an international peace movement has arrested Thursday after bypassing the active denial system. 
perimeter at Cam Grayling in tinfoil suit. Yeah, sounds like a tinfoil, right? Jack Haley, 43, of Grayling, Missouri, was cited in a suspicion of trespassing as government property. He was found by security forces after crossing a runaway, wearing a reflective suit composed of aluminum foil. It is believed the foil allowed him to bypass the ADS unharmed. When asked if this was a constituted as a failure in the ADS, an Army spokesman responded by saying, We had a breach, we responded, and everybody walked away healthy, he said. I don't think we have any more concerns today than we had before. Yeah, it sounds like the government. No, everything is perfectly fine. Yeah. Until shit happens, right? Nah, I'm not even sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> Acting over here like I'm political of some kind. I'm really not. I could care less about politics it's because uh, my head's too, my time, my brain's too tiny to really wrap my head around them. Over here we have a plastic pill bottle labeled Parmacon Amoxicillin. And this one's empty, so no point in that one. And another shopping bag, so let's take that as well. Alrighty, a handful of small twigs. So we do want to take the whiskey bottle for sure. So, um, the problem here is that we have no more room for it now. Um, I don't want to leave that. The tarp? I feel like the tarp could be valuable, man. Like, uh, I mean, what if you could use that as like a way to sleep? I don't know. Um, empty whiskey bottle. I feel like, I guess I, in reality, though, I really, really need one. I guess I really, really need one. Um, I could destroy this, though, for some reason. I destroyed it. I thought I was going to break it and, like, use it as a weapon. Okay, well, it's gone now. <laughs> so, I mean, I still have the one plastic bottle that has water in it, so that's not too bad. And I, I suppose we don't need to really take this, do we? No. All right, fuck it. We're done here. All right. Thank you, sir. So, um, uh, we weren't done scavenging, though. There was one more building left. Crumbling apartment building. Doesn't seem like there's gonna be much in here. You decide to check out the crumbling apartment building. It's a mess inside. Broken bricks lay in piles. Bits of glass strewn everywhere like glittering dust. Water strains and dead leaves litter the outer edges of the building. And rock dust still covers areas sheltered from the elements. Scavengers before you have obviously picked most of the easy scores clean. But a little elbow grease and some risk-taking might reward the intrepid uh, treasure seeker. And the roof collapse! Alrighty, so that shit fell on us. Um, our chest was grazed, our upper arm was grazed, our head was smacked, and we're in minor pain and some activities are affected. That's a goddamn shame. Um, so let's take a look at our health here. Oof. Oof. I'm bleeding as well. So, um, luckily, we got some clean rags for this, don't we? So, wait a minute. Put the clean rag on it. Yeah. And right there, too. That's pine and rain and bruising. That's not going to help out. Alright, so at least we got the blood done with. So thank you. Thank for that. Um, how about we use the painkiller? <laughs> I feel like I'm using this too. I'm using it as an excuse to kind of get my guy, like, fucked up on shit. So, um... Use the painkillers? Alrighty. I definitely did. We still have another one there. Alright, good. So, um, hopefully that kind of helped us out. Players taking some painkillers. Alright. Um, so let's continue onward here. I mean, that's, uh, that's unfortunately what happened when you're out in the wilderness doing your shit, right? So, um, here I don't want to venture out in the dark, honestly. So, how about we hide our track and hide ourselves? And then, it's risky, but let's just sleep. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use this. I guess we could use this as a campsite, apparently. It doesn't have the best shelter, but it's better than just standing out in the middle of nowhere, so... Um, I guess we'll use that as a campsite and we will sleep. Alrighty. And as we were sleeping, a motherfucker came up to us. A raider, no less. Uh, last move, and he's got a punch, and, you know, he doesn't have much on him, it seems. Um, let's see here. So, uh, our third temperature's pretty cold, uh, unburdened, thirsty. I can still drink really quickly. But, uh, at least my condition seems pretty good now. Alright, so how about we, um, sneak towards his asshole? Can he see me? I think he can see me. Raider searches for a player. So how about uh, we duck behind? Player is taking cover and is harder to hit with ranged weapons. Raider advances towards... Well, yeah, he fucking sees me. Alrighty, so how about we... uh, Let's charge at him too. Alright, fuck it. You know what? I'm fucking angry right now. I'm gonna beat the hell out of this man too. You're not the only one that could be a tough guy, man. Alright, Raider is exposed for easy attack at the moment. So, really quickly, let's just tackle this guy. Fuck it. Player is falling to the ground. Great. Raider needs a moment to recover before acting again. Raider tries to launch a flurry of attacks at player, but misses. All right, so now let's just get up regularly. Raider tries to launch a flurry of attacks, but no, that was the last one. So 
let's start off with, um, he fell, so let's uh, kick him while he's down, then. Raider has fallen to the ground and must regain footing to continue. Raider is exposed for easy attack. And I smacked his head with the kick, so that's good. And I'm tired again. God fucking damn it. Alright, yeah, let's do another melee surge. Raider is stunned and unable to move for a moment. Player has smacked the Raider's right arm with the rifle butt, so that's actually working out. And the Raider's bleeding now, so he's fucking bleeding, let me get up here. So now, um, you wanna give up or something, bro? Demand your surrender. Player demands Raider surrender, or Raider gets up. Raider is bleeding. No, he doesn't want to surrender, so we'll continue doing the melee surge. Player smacked the Raider's lower chest with a rifle butt. Raider tries to launch a flurry of attacks, but misses, and he's bleeding still. Alrighty, and we will... I guess do the same thing again. Raider is in severe pain and is having trouble concentrating. So I've crippled his right arm, apparently. So the severe pain, he's falling and he's bleeding. Raider is falling to the ground and must regain footing to continue. So, um... I'm a demand to surrender now. Raider gets up. Alright, he's a tough guy. So, we will do the same thing again, bro. Raider has fallen to the ground and must regain footing to continue. Raider has passed out from unbearable pain. Raider agrees to surrender to the player. Good. And what do we get here for this? Um, right foot. Condition 9.1. 6. Alright, so fuck this shoe. Put this one on. Uh, he had a bow and strap. That's pretty fucking awesome, unfortunately. Um, no uh, arrows as well. So let me put this community college shirt on as well. And blue jeans, 31. And how is mine doing? Put those guys on then. And that seems to be pretty much it. Poison berries, I'm not going to eat that shit. Alright, so at least that kind of worked out to a degree. Oh, actually, wait, wait a minute. Um, my pants actually have items in them. So, uh, empty out. Take my trash bags with me. <laughs> I feel like a homeless person. And I'll take my trash cans with me. Alright, so that, that worked out pretty well, so let's get... Out of here, I want to take this, honestly. 157. Actually, you know what? It's probably a little more valuable than this rifle. Just because. Here's my train of thought, I mean. Ah, oh, what's in here? Can I... I could kind of... No. Kind of. Alright, how about... Fuck this recipe. Let's eat these crackers. Right? This tarp, man. This tarp's kind of busting my balls, honestly. First aid, can I put you in? Uh, let me turn this around. How about that? There we go. Actually, I'm thirsty, aren't I? Let's actually go and uh, use this because I am thirsty. Didn't really help out too much of my thirst, honestly. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, we're pretty much leaving the tarp behind. And also this, uh, actually, I could take this note still. Put that in the hoodie. Alrighty, anything else that I need to take? Nothing else, it seems. Handful of twigs and bark. Alrighty. So I'm gonna take both of these weapons with me, so at least I could kind of look intimidating to people. So now that that's done with, we could go ahead and uh, hide our tracks, go back to hiding, and just sleep. I kind of want to wait till night daytime till we can continue onward here. So I didn't sleep on here. And the painkillers are wearing off. I'm still sleeping. Player is weak with thirst. And player, holy shit, player woke up to Dogman. Okay, strong and tough. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, weapons, claws, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they use. He's a fucking Dogman. He doesn't need weapons. So I'm, I'm dying of thirst, though. So um, here's what we do. We need to get the fuck out of here. Um, What is he doing? Best cover, high. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just retreat. Let's just get out of here. Sorry, we, we did escape, so that's good. Uh, I am dying up there still, so I need to do find some water shortly. Alright, so let's go over here. And player, you can see again. Good. And fuck that dog, man. There's a lot of water here, it seems. So how about we go here and um, end our turn. Dog, man, don't come after me. Don't come after me, dog, man. Alright, good. Let's actually scavenge the area that we're at. Can I scavenge that? Oh, come on. There's water here. Let me get at the water. Here we go. Um, no, I'm trying to, let me just fill up my, it's a lake, fill up your bottle, man. Maybe I could, uh, take it, <laughs> I can't take it, honestly. Oh, come on, man. I can't do shit about that, unfortunately. It's a lake, drink out of it. 
Alright, whatever. Didn't work out as much as I thought it would, so, um... Let's continue on here. Here. And there's a melon out here, and let's just jump in here, because I'm scared. Players unable to see well in these conditions, and yada yada yada. So let's go ahead and, and turn. Melonhead, leave me alone. Raider? We already went through this raider. So let's, uh, can I start running? Player is running, moving faster, but also fatigue faster. Player also leaves more tracks and cannot track as well while covering. Uh, never mind. Don't run. Let me see if I can kind of make it into this area here. Let's end this turn. See what happens here. Melonhead's coming at me, and the raider is at me again. We just, we just, you know, you're fucking crippled. You have a concussion? Leave me alone. Alrighty. Ah, uh, sneak towards, sprint away. Run. I'm just gonna sneak away from this man. I already dealt with him. There's, what's the point? I'm gonna threaten you. Alrighty, good. See, you don't wanna fuck with me. You already dealt with me. You know what happened here. So, there's a town behind this melon head, so let's go there. Alrighty. And there's a lot here. Kids, you're glad to, you don't have any. They'd only have ended up like the malnourished orchard before you. Please, mister, can I have some food? Must have been, must have, must have seen you pulling blankies from the ruined truck. The poor as enclaves use their kids as beggars. It's risky because lots of times they don't take making home. Folks probably figure that they don't, they can't feed them anyways, so may as well send them out for scavenging, weed out the weak. But what about this particular kid? Bound to be... A group of them watching from nearby. Feed her, and you'll have to feed the rest. Oh, <laughs> all right. So here we go. Uh, do what you can. Feed the lot. Use all the food you've just found. If there's going to be a future, we'll need the kids. Give the kids something and bring your weapon to the ready. You aren't feeding the others. Um, pack a urban rats. They aren't uh, sponging any food off of you. And grab the kid, threaten her with violence unless she tells you where her enclave is. <laughs> Alrighty. Well. I'm gonna take the violent round on this one, honestly. An enclave with kids like this is bound to be weak and poorly protected, ripe for the plucking. You grab the girl, unwashed and stinking, she slips from your hands like trying to grab a hold of a grease ball. She runs off as the rest of the urchin hurl rocks at you to discourage pursuit. Alright, assholes. And we did get at least our, uh, our Twinkies, or our quote-unquote Blinkies. Uh, these things last through everything, man. So, let me go ahead and uh, eat one of these guys. And let me eat another one. Alrighty, good. So, here is the uh, real question now. Um, I, I can't take them with me, unfortunately. So, um, ba -ba -ba. it takes up four spots. Well, what's with the ashes? Why do I have ashes? Alright, let's just leave one of the bags and how about that? Take one of the Twinkies and let's just eat another one of these fucking Twinkies. Let's just eat all of them. Might as well. Get on out of here and confirm. Alrighty. So, uh, unfortunately we didn't, uh... <laughs> Whether that was the best court of action or not is really beyond me. A locked storage shed, huh? I wonder if that had anything to do with the kids I found. Alrighty guys, so how about we end up the episode here? And uh, we'll pick up from here next time and see uh, where we go from here. Uh, maybe I... Probably should have been nicer to those kids and, you know, gave, fed them a bit. Obviously, I didn't eat all these Twinkies by myself, but I did. Apparently, I want to be a post-apocalyptic fat ass, but either way. Uh, once again, guys, uh, hopefully you're enjoying the series to a degree. If you are, please consider leaving a like. It really helps out the uh, future of the series and encourages any future growth for um, at least the series itself and prolonging and whatnot. But if you didn't like it, though, then feel free to uh, click on dislike. It's perfectly your prerogative to do so. Either way, though, I will catch you next time.